I'd like to congratulate Hibernia on establishing the second REIT in Ireland, uh, real estate investment trusts are a feature of property markets uh, in all the developed countries now. Uh, we provided the legal base for establishing them in the second last finance bill and uh, this is the second one to be established. Uh, they're innovative and uh, they're certainly something that helps uh, the property market. There's a, a lot of interest in Ireland now and there's a lot of money available uh, from abroad uh, to purchase property in Ireland and particularly in Dublin. And the REIT vehicle uh, is a way of transferring this investment into the market. Hibernia is formed to invest in, in Irish real estate. Uh, we went on a lot of road shows uh, around the UK and the US to raise some money to do that and we're very pleased that we've managed to raise 365 million euros uh, and, and also uh, in particular the calibre of investor that we've managed to attract. We think that uh, Irish real estate is in a sort of unique position at the moment, uh, largely based around the fact that most of the people who own or control the real estate don't really want it. Uh, in the banks and in NAMA, who are, they're all effectively sellers of real estate. So it's a, an ideal time to try and build a, a high quality uh, real estate portfolio. We're looking for products for our shop window and this is one of the most attractive products you can possibly have. Um, the uh, Hibernia REIT raised 365 million um, last week um, with very little uh, difficulty. It was oversubscribed. There was a very good uh, mixture of institutional and retail investors. That's all indicative of the fact that people want to buy Ireland. This is a perfect way in which to invest in the Irish economy. People are believing the story um, and in a, in a rising tide everybody gains. I think there's opportunities in, in a number of different areas. I think the um, significant deleveraging of organisations like NAMA and the various different banks in, in Dublin and Ireland, I think there's going to be significant deal flow over the next three to four years. Um, I think we're seeing that uh, we've seen we're seeing that on the ground now with with you know portfolios like Platinum being sold, Central Park coming to the market, and big loan sales like Club and Holly going on at the moment through NAMA. Um, I also think that you're going to see um, organisations like Ulster Bank start more aggressively deleveraging. Um, and I think as a consequence you're just going to see more on and off market transactions over the next number of years. It's fantastic for us, um, you know, for, for good bodies to have done the biggest IPO in Ireland this year and uh, we had a fantastic client and uh, we were able to move very quickly and get this onto the market so it's been a great success for us and a great success for our client.